in 2024, I want to do my best to try and get a bonus video out at least once a month, just to go a little off kilter of the normal format of this show. And admittedly, today's isn't too off kilter, but we'll get to that. And I haven't really thought it out, but if I have the time, I'd just like to like maybe redraw some old art, character design, stuff like that. But that's not what the video is about today. If you haven't heard the news, MatPat is retiring from YouTube, or more specifically, he's stepping down as his hosting role of all four of the theorist channels, and I think GT Live too. And so I decided to take the time I had uh, and make January's bonus video a kind of tribute to that. I'm sure I've mentioned it somewhere on the many different projects I've had on this site, but as this channel specifically goes on, you'll start to see that when it comes to pop culture stuff, I'm not the greatest at keeping up to date on things. I didn't see the first Avengers movie till like 2018, 2019 or whatever. And Matt Pat and Game Theory are no exception. I only started watching them, or specifically Game Theory, 2020, 2021, but in that short time from four or five years or something like that, it's become a big part of my life. The first thing I ever watched on Game Theory was the entire FNAF theories, which wasn't as convoluted then as it is now only slightly <laughs> but it was those series those theories that got me caught up on a franchise that i was six to seven years late joining and i've made some really cool friends through this series and i've had one of the best movie experiences going as in going to see a movie in my life because of FNAF which is because of game the it's the whole timeline of things gets insane and I'd also be lying if I said I didn't use game theory or film theory or whatever as a source of research when doing some of the videos on this channel once again FNAF was a big one of that because oh boy trying to understand that is is no easy feat and I read the books <laughs> and I'll also usually put on GT live too when I'm working on art for videos, just that's kind of background noise. So even though I haven't been along for the ride for the 13 years it's Game Theory's existed, I feel like I've I've watched close to 13 years worth of content to say I've, you know, to, to call myself a fan of Game Theory, as controversial as that may be. Now, for the image itself, I ping-ponged a bit about what I wanted to do. As I mentioned that this video isn't entirely off-kilter of the normal formulas channel, I... The original idea was to turn Game Theory, like the channel, into a superhero, because I've noticed that out of all the topics I work with on this channel, superhero designs are probably my weakest. I just, there's something in me that I don't know really where to go with any of them. So I figured I'd take that and just use this video as a little bit of practice. Then the video slowly started shifting into, okay, let's just draw a matte pad and a cool dynamic pose and just make it a tribute. And then I finished the initial sketch and it looked like Matt Pat was about to punch your lights out. Like you disagreed with one of his theories and he was very mad about it. <laughs> so I, to make it a little less punch happy, I went back to the game theory as superhero idea, just using Matt's Pat's face. <laughs> and because of that, I was all really nervous to go into this video because along with superheroes, not being my strongest when it comes to character design. I'm also not very familiar with drawing a picture to look like somebody in real life, like drawing a real life person. Granted, I did draw Mr. Beast when I was redesigning Dark and Light Gary from r slash boss fight, but that was completely by accident. I don't know how I did that and nor do I think I would be able to recreate it. But both of those things, I'm actually very happy with how they turned out. 
I also love how the whole piece just really wound up looking like a comic book cover when, when I put in the background of the four banners just like sunbursting out. I don't know if that's the right word. And I feel like if I slapped a price code on it for a couple of cents or however many money comics go out for nowadays that I think the theorist, which is what I ended up naming him, could, uh, could stand with what Marvel and DC has to offer. Like Polka Dot Man. Anyway, I just want to give another thank you to Matt Pat for all he's done. It's been very entertaining, and all of Team Theorists as well. It, they've done so much work. It's been so fun to just watch them, so thank you. But that's all I've got today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the bonus video, and I'll see you all for the next real video on Monday. Take care, everyone.